So hello guys, this lab is just recently updated, so here is the updated solution for it. So first of all, click on start lab and if you are new to this channel, like the video and subscribe the channel. Now open the cloud console incognito window. Make sure your existing windows are already closed. Now just open it. Now here, if it asks for username and password, check the lab for it. Now just click on I understand and just click on agree and continue. Now from the navigation menu, just select the vertex CI and just click on workbench. Just present below the notebooks. So here basically we have to open the Jupyter lab. So wait for it. So now click on open Jupyter lab. Finally the Jupyter lab is now open. Now here you have to just click on the terminal. And in the description box of this video, I've shared this updated repository. Just check it out. So now you have to just paste it over here. And now what you need to do is let me show you. You have to click this file and open it. Now what you need to do, you need to cross verify whether the kernel is selected as Python 3 or not. So as you can see here, it's showing Python 3. Now, sometimes what happens here, you have to just select it if you, it's no kernel is selected. Now here, as you can see, the kernel is not connected yet. So wait for it to get connecting. And then once it's connected, it will show idle. Then just run this like this. Now it will take some time. So wait for it. Now wait for this command to complete. So finally, this has been completed. Now just restart the kernel. A pop-up will come you have to just click on ok now once wait for the kernel to go idle so finally it's idle now now you have to just select here and from here click on run all selected and all below just run it it will initiate one by one and it will take few seconds sometimes even up to a minute and after that when the kernel goes idle we'll hit check my progress and see the score Finally, now the kernel status is now idle. Now what you have to do, you have to go back to the lab instructions and hit check my progress. And if you are unable to get the score, you have to just refresh the browser window. So let's move to the lab instructions. Now from here, hit check my progress. So if you are unable to see the score, what you can do is just refresh the browser. And if you are still unable to get the score, no need to worry about it just keep hitting check my progress you can just navigate to that particular task and hit check my progress so as you can see we got full score and we are done with the lab guys have a great day ahead